welcome back guys it's me here again in this video i'll be showing you how to root your vivo phone okay actually i see online tutorials about rooting vivo phones but trust me guys those are all scams okay right now i'm showing you the perfect method and it will work i guarantee it okay now to root your phone you, there are some exceptions or actually some conditions okay first phone must need to have a media tech chipset okay as long as your vivo phone got media check chipset you are good to go no matter what if you are running android 8 android 9 android 10 or android 11 it, this method will work for all devices okay just follow my steps okay now in order to root our vivo phone we're going to need some tools don't worry whatever i to whatever tool i use in this video i'll be providing them in description okay you guys might be wondering if this tutorial is for vivo v15 so how this is going to help for the users with non vivo v15 devices i mean the mediatek vivo phones okay so here's the thing you're going to need to build uh, your own twrp okay for that <clears throat> i'll be linking the guide in the description also if you don't have your stock recovery you're going to need another guide i'll also be putting that guide in the description to back up or dump or extract your rom okay now let's just proceed to another step okay before proceeding we're gonna take some cautions okay like back up our data because while unlocking bootloader our data will be erased okay the second thing is we're going to remove every account in the handset like google account and vivo account because we don't want to get stuck into frp okay now let's just go into settings and <clears throat> go into system management here we're going to tap on about phone and sometimes tap on software version okay that way you become developer then go back go to developer options now here you're going to turn on this option bootloader unlocking and give your pin okay <clears throat> enable and also enable the usb debugging okay now first thing we're going to do is uh, to unlock our bootloader okay okay so to unlock our bootloader we're going to need the mtk client tool thanks to the developers we got the tool ready up and running okay so there are actually two methods to unlock our vivo bootloader with mtk tool using python or using gui so for your convenience i'm going to use the gui version okay now click on this folder at first when you open this folder there will be no folder named mtk client okay so how do you get this folder you're going to double click on start bat make sure you are connected to the internet okay when you first click on the start bat is gonna install some prerequisites let it install okay after installing the prerequisites it's gonna come up with this menu okay now we're going to hit enter to unlock our bootloader then we are going to click yes i mean y okay then again hit enter now you are going to switch off your phone okay now after switching off press and hold volume up or you can hold the volume down button also and connect your usb cable here we go now press enter now we're going to disconnect our cable and power on our phone as you can see the message or in state our bootloader is unlocked now let's just confirm our bootloader is unlocked okay we're going to settings system management developer options here we can see bootloader is already unlocked okay we can't uncheck it right now but of course you can relock it with the given tool if you want to now going back here i'm gonna give you some tips guys 
first thing is when you unlock your bootloader it will be showing your device will be showing this error the system spider data has been corrupted uh, it, it's actually not a problem you can just click on this okay now it will just check for updates if you are lucky you will get update through OTA okay but if you don't get the update through OTA worry not just minimize this window so <laughs> tackle with this error we're going to open up a browser okay now we're going to type vivo firmware update okay now i'm going to system updates here we're gonna choose our model like my model is vivo v15 okay now click on ok here i need to download this OTA, OTA package okay after downloading this OTA package all you need to do is just go to recovery and install this package via recovery okay then when you come back to system after installing this package this error will be gone now about this error okay this error detected system customization it's kind of irritating so get rid of this error we're going to need pc and our phone obviously uh first we're going to settings to get rid of this error we're going to settings then developer options and make sure usb debugging is on okay now connect your phone to pc after connecting our phone to pc now we're going to open this tool again all in one And now we're going to connect our phone and allow our phone to use the ADB service. Okay, now we're going to APK uninstaller. And search for this service com.vivo.daemon service and click on uninstall selected apps okay now we go back to our system here we go we got rid of this message too so now we have successfully unlocked our bootloader okay now the left the one thing left to do is to flash the recovery okay the custom recovery uh, there are actually many ways you can flash your custom recovery like using fast boot also you can use the sp flash tool to flash your recovery like uh, but first uh, to flash recovery you're going to need this tool here called mtk authentication bypass okay first you need to bypass your authentication anyways that's the different thing here if you want flash your recovery easily i'm going to show you the easiest method okay you're going to need this tool all in one let's go ahead and open this tool now we're going to connect our phone for the authorization click on always trust this pc and click ok now if we click on this check our device will be shown in status bar okay now we're going to this option recovery flasher now go to normal recovery flasher okay here's the thing if your vivo device got a b recovery portion how do you know so for that i am linking a video below of mine to know how to know if your device is a b portions or a normal recovery okay choose wisely now my device isn't a b portion so i'm going with normal recovery 
now choose here default mode manual mode okay now browse to the twrp uh, i just my twrp is in desktop okay select the twrp recovery and click open now all you need to do is just flash it it will prompt you your phone is in adb mode but this will this is a first boot command do you want to reboot in the first boot mode or oh, click on yes now it's gonna automatically put our phone into fast boot mode here we go now our recovery is flashed successfully okay now we're going to press the volume down button now you can see recovery mode is highlighted now press the power button to enter the recovery mode remember do not reboot into system yet okay we need to directly reboot into the recovery let it boot into the twrp okay here we go now swipe right even if we install the twrp you can't flash any zip yet because i will show you why here we're going to select storage you see internal storage is 0 mb we're gonna fix this by going back now going to wipe and for me data type yes to confirm and press ok now our data is for me successfully we're going back 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 again now reboot reboot to recovery swipe to reboot Go back again in the recovery. Swipe. Now, if we go to select storage, here we got our internal storage mounted. Okay. Another way to check it is to go advanced file manager. Here we can see right here SD card is mounted. okay our system root here goes our system okay now basically you can flash anything you want okay this was a pretty easy tutorial guys okay so hope you like the video if you do like please share and subscribe the channel and hope to see you in next videos any issues regarding this tutorial just comment down below okay and thank you